Warner is one of the most iconic football players personally for me. It was one of my first football jerseys that I ever got. And he's retired right after his, so that's why I never buy sports jerseys anymore. Because they always end up retiring. Literally the season after I buy their jerseys. That's a little bit of a tangent. I do love Zachary Levi though, and I've been pretty excited for the American underdog. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, we're going to be discussing American Underdog. This is the story of an NFL MVP and Hall of Fame quarterback, Kurt Warner, who went from stocking shelves at a supermarket to becoming an American football star. This is directed by the Irwin Brothers and stars Zachary Levi, Anna Paquin, Adam Baldwin, Dennis Quaid, Bruce McGill, and a lot more. I've been really excited for this movie because Zachary Levi is one of the most underrated stars in Hollywood today. Ever since his show Chuck, which if you haven't seen Chuck, every single time I talk about Zachary Levi on this channel, I have to mention Chuck. Go and see it. It ran for five seasons and I loved every single season of it. And ever since then, you know, he went to Tangled and that was great, but he had such a, like, nothing after that. And then he got Shazam, which, thank God, because Shazam is one of the best DCEU movies. And now we have American Underdog. And, of course, Shazam 2 is coming out pretty soon as well, but... American Underdog, man. I liked it. Um, it's one of the most uplifting and crowd-pleasing movies of this year. I don't think it's perfect by any, any means, and I would have liked for some new directorial and different kind of styles to these type of stories. I mean, I just I just needed a good crowd-pleaser from this one, and I sat there, watched it, felt uplifted, and I even felt motivated because being in this content career and talking movies and trying to do this for a full-time living, hopefully one day, it wears on you. It burns you out. And I actually felt a lot of motivation from watching this movie. And I very much felt that, you know, even though it's not your time now, it could be one day. And I love what this movie has when it talks about its messaging and everything of that nature. So I got a lot to talk about today with this movie. And I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts as well. This comes out Christmas Day. There are some early showings coming out the week of Spider-Man. So if you're not a Spider-Man fan or you already saw No Way Home, and you're looking for something a little bit more uplifting and crowd-pleasing and a little bit different, this is going to be the one for you guys. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as well as comment down below if you guys love movies. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. So with any movie review, I love starting with the pros and my major pro for, of course, American Underdog, is the performances. I loved Zachary Levi in this movie, and I think he really much embodied Kurt Warner. For a little bit, I did definitely just see Zachary Levi as a football player, but once he finally sank into the role and the movie started going, you completely forget about it, and I really appreciated what Levi did with Kurt Warner. Again, I'm a big fan of Kurt Warner, so I've watched a lot of interviews with him, I've read one of his books, I've really much dived into this story, and I really like to see how Zachary Levi was able to bring this to life. And then, of course, we have Oscar winner, Anna Paquin for who plays Brenda Warner his future wife and I thought she was great as well I think their chemistry really works wonders and even though I wish there was a little bit more development overall and the movie's like only an hour and 50 minutes we'll talk about that con in a second I really like what Anna Paquin did and the rest of the supporting cast is good when they're in it really much it's definitely their two stories but Dennis Quaid's great I love seeing Quaid kind of show up in the last couple of years with him filmmaking I think he's just doing a great job Adam Baldwin again if you're a fan of Chuck I thought it was great that he was in here because him and Chuck used to be co-stars with one another McGill was also great and the entire cast was great every single person had a moment to really add to this film and add to this uplifting story because like I said uplifting is the big message of this all but the thing is is you know Kurt Warner's pretty religious so is brenda warner and you know when it comes down to these movies i'm i'm religious i'm christian i love going to church i stuff like that i don't like sharing too much on this channel because i don't know how people will take that but for me i was wondering how this movie is going to really much tackle that because a lot of christian movies like one that i saw last year with kj appa i cannot even remember what it was called but i walked into that and I just feel like they banged it over the head that this is a Christian movie. This is a Christian movie. And I feel like when movies do that with religion, it just turns me off. It just feels unrealistic and I don't like it. I have to give a major shout out to how the Irwin brothers actually handled it in this movie because I thought it was perfect. It didn't bang you over the head, but you understand where he's at in his life and why and what he believes in and why he would. And I love, love, love how they handled it in this. And I have to give a major shout out because I feel like a lot of films either do it too much or don't do it enough. This movie found the right balance. The story of Kurt Warner is very inspiring for anyone who wants that dream. That again, maybe it's not your time, but one day it could be if you're working hard enough to get there and you're just believing in yourself. Because a lot of us have that self-doubt. 
I know I do, but I really like, again, the message of this movie, and I think it's one of the most powerful aspects of the entire film. Overall, just like seeing Kurt Warner's story told on the big screen. But this is where I kind of want to side way over to my cons, because I don't have too many, and again, these are mostly just nitpicks. I think this movie is very enjoyable, and I had a lot of fun moments with it, but at an hour and 50 minutes, there are moments in here that I do feel like the movie probably could have been trimmed down a bit for certain scenes. But then other scenes and other sequences I feel like needed to be uplifted and levitated a little bit more. When I say that, I just mean the scenes needed to be dragged out. Certain sequences didn't get enough time to really marish on and sit on. And other ones got so much time that I kind of sat there. I'm like, okay, well, let's get to the next thing of seeing where this is going. I feel like this movie has a little bit of a disjointed pacing to it all, as well as it being a typical crowd-pleasing drama that we've seen all before. Now, you guys know I loved King Richard, but that was one of my big cons for it was that there was nothing special to the direction or in general just the storytelling devices it is something that we've seen so many times before an american underdog is kind of the same way just not with like the transformative performance that will smith did at the king richard it has nothing to go with the performances in this one because i thought they were all great and really did a good job of bringing it about here but when it comes down to the writing i think that's where it really much lacked that um, that this film could have been and had. Honestly, that's like a small nitpick. This movie's enjoyable. What else is there to say? If you are a fan of Kurt Warner, you're going to love this. If you're just needing a nice sports drama to really get you in the mood and just inspire you to get up and stop self-doubting yourself, go see this movie. Zachary Levi's great. Anna Paquin's great. Dennis Quaid's great. The whole cast is great. The story is really enjoyable. And I like this movie. I would buy it on Blu-ray. I would watch it again. I'd go see it in the theaters again. I know my girlfriend wants to go see it. So with all that said, guys, I'm going to give American Underdog a B. Curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. So thank you once again, guys, for watching this. I appreciate you guys all so much. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, if you guys are new here, make sure to head on over to Two Sandwich on Films on how to see films early. And of course, she's a big name to you guys once again. So of course, until next time, stay classy.